What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Bring you guys a quick video today to talk about some controversy that's surrounding the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus and all the big blogs and the news today. All of the controversy is summarized nicely by XDA in this article. The hardware lottery continues. Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus vary between UFS 2.0 and UFS 2.1. Now, if you're not a hardcore enthusiast user, you don't know what these things are. Basically, UFS 2.0 and 2.1 refer to the storage speeds of your internal storage on your Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. And what they're referring to here by the hardware lottery continuing is that a couple weeks ago, Huawei was in the news for the P10 Plus, which I have right here, and one that I'm still waiting to finish my full review on, they were found to only also be putting the UFS 2.1 storage, the faster version, in about half of their P10, P10 Plus devices when they in fact advertised on their website when they originally leased the phone that they would all have UFS 2.1. Apparently there were some shortage issues. They removed the mention. A lot of people were upset in the enthusiast uh, Android community. Now, we didn't realize at the time, but the same thing is going on with the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. So a member of XDA forums actually found a really easy way to check whether or not you have the UFS 2.0 slightly slower or the UFS 2.1, which is a bit faster. Now, if you're an average user, this is probably not gonna make a huge difference. I wanna put that out there up front. It's not gonna be a big deal for your day-to-day -day performance. You're probably not gonna notice. But if you're an enthusiast like me, you want the absolute fastest speeds you can get. You're paying flagship top tier prices. There's no reason for Samsung or Huawei to be facetious with their consumers and then later remove the mention when people find out that the information they gave is not true. So the way that you can actually determine which version you have is go into Material Terminal here. This app is free on the Play Store. Go ahead and type open. And then when you do that, you're gonna type in a very simple command. The command, which I'll zoom in on, is right there at the top. Cat slash proc slash SCSI slash SCSI. Once you type that, go ahead and hit enter. You'll get this prompt right here, and then you'll see the actual manufacturer and model number of your internal storage. This one's made by Toshiba. The way to determine whether or not you have the faster UFS 2.1 or the slower UFS 2.0, just look at the end here. If you have the Toshiba model, which it seems the most of the US models do, you'll have TRA at the very end there like I do. That is UFS 2.0, the slower model of the storage. It would seem that the Galaxy S8, which is what this is, the smaller of the two phones, seems to have UFS 2.0. This is a Verizon Galaxy S8 model. So just to show you guys really quick the difference, I have my Verizon and my T-Mobile Galaxy S8 Plus models, which all actually seem to have the faster UFS 2.1. If you take a look at the output here, you'll notice the very end, the model number Toshiba still, but it ends in IRA. That's how you can tell it's UFS 2.1. And XDA does have a nice table with the model numbers that were compiled by a user over there. I'll drop the link below if you guys want to check it out for yourself. And then my final one here is my T-Mobile Galaxy S8 Plus. Again, the larger model. And if you take a look at Material Terminal, I once again have the Toshiba, but IRA. So, so far it seems that the smaller Galaxy S8 is the one that seems to have the issues. Also, a lot of people are saying that the Exynos models are all equipped with the faster UFS 2.1. I can't test that because my Coral Blue Exynos model hasn't arrived yet. I will test it when I get it later this week and we'll find out what's going on with that. If you guys wanna test yours, find the link in the description to Material Terminal, download it, run the command that I just showed. I'll drop the source link to XDA below. Let me know what you guys find out. Again, not such a huge deal for the everyday users, but if you're subscribed to my channel, chances are you might be an enthusiast like me and you're gonna be pretty pissed off about something like this happening when you're playing top tier prices and companies are not being entirely truthful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. I appreciate you guys checking out the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.